Hey, this is Rob Michaels, and you are watching the Venom Vlog. Hey everyone, welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog, and today we're going to look at some behind the scenes images and a quick little video that showed up on Instagram from a user named Iconology. And uh, these are pretty neat, and he doesn't have a lot of followers, I think he's just sharing information he finds out there, he mentions, hey I'm not you know, trying to do copyright infringement or anything, this is just stuff I've come across, maybe some of the stuff he's actually taken, I have no idea, uh, I tried to research a little bit more about this guy and couldn't find out too much, uh, so I just thought, you know what, let's just give the guy a shout out and let you guys see uh, for yourself the kind of stuff he's posting on his Instagram account. So I'll put a link to it down below, you can check out everything we're discussing here, you'll see it on his page, uh, and then I think there's a couple other images we have, so we'll start off, I think there's a a, a image of Tom Hardy and he's at uh, the prison and it's just like a shot of him and this looks like a behind the scenes shot and I think this was taken by Iconology or someone you know that he knows and he's sharing it or somehow um, and it's just like an image from the set of the film I believe and it looks really cool it's just a plain and simple image but it's just something that you know all right we haven't really seen this or I haven't seen it maybe some of you guys have maybe it's been circulating and I might have missed it um, that does happen from time to time especially with my work schedule being so busy these past few months uh, I have missed a lot of stuff from time to time so I appreciate you guys being patient with me and trying to cover everything I can you know being a one-man show and all the next image we're going to talk about is actually taken from video village it's from a monitor so a lot of times when you're filming a movie the director will be behind a series of monitors and he's seeing what the cameramen have you know look what they're Seeing. So they're like, you know, the cameraman or the DP, uh, director of photography, people are out there, you know, moving the camera around and it's being fed back to Video Village. So, you know, uh, Ruben Fleischer, maybe a couple producers can kind of see it, kind of get a, a, you know, feeling for it. Um, maybe even the makeup person's there and they're looking at Tom and they're trying to figure out like how his makeup looks and everything. Uh, and so it looks like an image from there and it shows Tom Hardy laying in bed and he's just kind of, you know, it looks like he's at the end of a long day maybe. So uh, I'm kind of curious when this is. Is the symbiote already in him? Is this when he's sick? I think when he's sick, he passed out on the couch and then ends up on the floor and then wakes up when, uh, you know, Roland Treese and those guys or Scott Hayes, like, you know, comes in. So, uh, you know, I'm not sure when in this movie that this takes place, but maybe just like a downtime, maybe before he goes and meets Anne Wang, something like that. But just a quick shot of him there. And again, all these are just, you know, super quick shots. Nothing overly impressive or anything like that. Just simple little things that I just wanted to share with you guys because we haven't done a behind the scenes thing in a while. Since they finished filming in San Francisco, we haven't done anything like this. So I just thought this would be fun. And again, I wanted to give this guy's Instagram page a shout out because it looks like he, you know, uh, worked hard in putting all this stuff together uh, so that he could share it with all of us. Um, and then there's an image of Tom Hardy without a shirt on and he's banging on his neighbor's door. I have a theory about the neighbor. Uh, I am kind of curious who the neighbor is. I was wondering if it was going to be Mrs. Manfredi because we had Ellen Gerstein do the intro to one of the episodes. And I was thinking like, all right, where would, you know, Ellen, you know, or Ellen Gerstein, where would Mrs. Manfredi, who, as we know, is related to the, Sil the Silverman character from Spider-Man lore, um, she's, uh, you know, his wife, essentially, and uh, apparently she's some, somewhere in the movie, and I don't know where she is in the movie, but I just had a theory like, oh, what if she's his neighbor, and what if he's coming over and knocking on the door, you know, asking about something, and then later on when he throws, like, a guard into the door, and she opens the door, and maybe he makes, like, you know, the venom face, and she's like, oh, and so you get, like, a little payoff to the, you know, the setup of her being across the hall or something. Um, I don't know, uh, but it was just a theory of mine. But anyway, you see him banging on the door of the apartment across the hall from him, and then the last shot is him in his apartment, uh, and you got like the kind of the camera crew and film crew around him talking to him. Um, so yeah, I mean, these were just neat. I just wanted to share this stuff with you guys, uh, again, for the reasons I said, you know, we haven't done behind the scenes stuff in a while, but I also have right here just playing the, the quick video. It's like really quick, just a couple seconds long. If you want to see it, it's an entirety because I don't want to blow it up because then you'll be like, oh, you know, I, I'm not going to go check out the guy's page now because I saw it here. Please go check out this guy's Instagram. Show him some love. Like I said, show, tell him the Venom Vlog sent you if you can. Um, and uh, yeah, and just spread the word to show that way because, uh, you know, I think these people, they, they're out there, they work hard, and they work in different elements of the movies, and they don't really get a lot of credit. We've tried to cover a lot of different job titles on this movie, and I'm waiting for the official announcement for the editor of the film, and maybe we'll do a video on that person. Uh, there's been some rumors and some things we've seen um, at different places, but I've seen nothing on IMDb or this person's, like, you know, a, you know actual accounts or anything, so I don't know if, uh, you know, they're going to be the editor. I think that he, the person who's editing Venom might be the same editor Ruben Fleischer always uses and used on, like, Monster Squad and a couple other movies. It might be the same editor uh, because they have a great relationship with each other, but I don't know at the same time. Uh, so it makes sense it would be him but uh, I haven't seen anything official. So until I do, I probably won't make a video on the editor, uh, but that'll probably be the last like 
you know, job that we cover. Um, I do kind of partly want to make an episode about PAs just because I used to be a PA once and I feel like they definitely get zero credit. So if you guys are interested in knowing more about uh, production assistance uh, in both, you know, uh, the, the production side and then also like the post-production assistance uh, and what the, kind of their roles are, you know, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments and maybe we'll make a video on that in the near future. Because like I said, we don't want to just cover this movie. We cover the comics, we cover other things, but we also try to take a little bit of a peek in behind the curtains of filmmaking and marketing and I try to you know do some things out there that might teach some of us something and sometimes even myself because I'll go research and go oh wow I didn't know that and then sometimes I'll say something and someone in the comments will be like oh actually I've done that and, and it's actually more like this and I'm like oh I stand corrected so it's nice it's a good learning tool for all of us I think so you guys let me know what you think of stuff like that and let me know what you think of all these uh, you know images that we showed and again check out Iconology's account down below Instagram account I'll put it down there so you guys can check out all of his pictures he has a ton of Tom Hardy stuff, some James Franco stuff, some other things. So definitely check it out if you're interested. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in the future. Peace.